Greetings Grapple fans, welcome to the Westgate Hall in Canterbury. I'm Rob Ringside, joined by Dow Jones on commentary, and this is UKPW Downward Spiral. Dow, we've had some drama before we've even opened the, opened the commentation station today. Absolutely, Rob Ringside. Now, normally we start the show now, but actually what happened when the doors opened? UKPW champion Alexander Roth made a surprise appearance. He was here, doors open, he was chatting with the crowd, he was having a laugh because no challenger has stepped up to take on the champion. Roth wanted to say thank you specifically to wrestling trainees who have been helping out throughout the year for UKPW. He invited five of them into the ring. He offered them a handshake. However, one turned down the handshake there was a bit of to in and fro in, but out of nowhere, completely by surprise, he was attacked from behind. And speed version of this recap, there was a bit of fighting. And essentially, our main event tonight, a surprise main event, Alexander Roth defends that champion against a rookie! Absolutely, Dow Jones. You couldn't have said, I couldn't have said it better myself. Alexander Roth, the fightingest champion of champions, is taking on one of the trainees who formed, until that moment, the crew for the day. Grapple fans, what a match we've got to kick off Downward Spiral here at the Westgate Hall in Canterbury. I'm Rob Ringside and I'm joined by Dow Jones. Dow Jones, the Tag Team Championships on the line in mere moments. I mean, I'm going to get right to it, Rob. Tag Team Championships in Canterbury. This match is full of flippy boy stuff. Yes. I cannot wait to see what incredible manoeuvres and area assaults we are about to witness. Slippy Boy stuff is right. I mean, the team in the ring right now, Hawks and Caven, made incredibly impressive showings at Rampage in singles action. They both featured in the actual Rampage match itself and were excellent. They had an absolute barnstormer with Westside Heat of Break stuff. They narrowly missed out on inclusion in the Tag Team Title Tournament, but today they can more than make up for that by taking on CPL. This is going to be... Fantastic. Shall we bring out some friends? Shall we bring out some close personal friends? I never know if we can speak during this period. Or whether we'll just get demonetized. I mean, I'm not going to do what Clark Andrews did before and make some lyrics up, but what I am going to say is, Grapple fans, here are the UKPW Tag Team Champions. Yes, indeed. Danny Black and Just Joe Lando, CPF. They are champions for 211 days thus far, defeating Westside Heat and the meme team, Adonis, Payne and Artemis, in the Tag Team Title Tournament in Falcon Woods. They defended against the Bryant brothers in an incredible match on Bexley Heath High Street. They defeated Crowley and Alexis Falcon at T Tables Ladder Scares 3 in an utterly incredible contest. And most recently, in a match of the year contender, took on the Rebellion at Blizzard Ball 3 and were victorious. These, your tag team champs. There they are, the UKPW Tag Team Champions, just Joe Lando and the kid without fear, Danny Black. Yes, indeed, but they do have a heck of a challenge ahead of them. Hawks and Caven, a formidable tag team. Unbelievable. You could argue they are the wrestlers' wrestlers' favourite team. And looking just behind me, Rob, I can see what we like to call a curtain sellout. And the following match is scheduled for one ball. The crowd have got their favourite style, Jones, it's fair to say. I don't know what you're talking about, Rob. Don't well, know what you're talking about. Well, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Are they both soaking wet? Oh, 
That's what you were saying, Rob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People really like CPF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, I'm glad you got there eventually. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. There's right. a time zone thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, kidding aside, I was just about to say, we have what's called a curtain sellout. All of the wrestlers are peeking through the curtain to see this one. As rightly they should, let's be fair. This is going to be an incredible contest. If you enjoy what I would call an aerial assault of wrestling, or as I mentioned earlier, flippy boy stuff. Yeah, I think I, I prefer your definition of wrestling. This is the one to watch, and that's what it's for, the UKPW Tag Team Championships. It's always the calm before the storm in a tag team match. You never quite know. There's four bodies, different strategies. Let's see what works. And we're away. Will Caven beginning in the ring with Joe Lando. I'd like to shout out Clark Andrews for the excellent ring announcing. As would I. I, I guess. Now, this intrigues me. Size each other up and away we go. Lando may be the smaller of the two. Certainly has the speed and arguably in a UKPW ring the experience. It's a tricky one because with Hawks and Caven, Yes, okay, CPF might have the speed advantage, but Hawks and Caven are fast, so it's a, it's a minuscule advantage at best. And Caven had an incredible match last year with Rex Armstrong. Yes, indeed, at the Rampage pay-per-view. Hawks against the Nail. Almost won it inside five seconds. It, it, exactly. This, this is why I think at the beginning here we're seeing these to slow it down because it just takes one mistake and the other one will pounce on it. Yes, indeed. Both teams have a wealth of experience and will no doubt capitalise on the mistake. And it may come down to those fine margins in a contest this evening in the match. Absolutely. Now, the close personal friends, everyone knows they are the tag champs, everyone knows they are close personal friends. But Caven and Hawks are also close personal friends. They know each other really well. They've trained together down in Portsmouth, one of the best wrestling schools in the UK. Again, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm gripped by what we are about to witness. It's a really kind of psychological back and forth between the two. Trying to size each other up a little better. Just get this advantage going. I do feel like uh, Dolph would have taken the snooker early on. I was going to say snooker. Yeah, it's a bit of sports thing. Yeah, it's right. sports thing. Nice arm wrench. Really put some pressure on the top of that shoulder. And we know that Joe Lando can do that shooting star elbow. And it's going to make that move way more painful to deliver. Yes, indeed. It's a smart move by Kevin, yeah. working that arm, making it more difficult. As we have talked about frequently, with high flying maneuvers, you need your arms as much as your legs. Absolutely. And what was incredible about that sequence there, Joe Lando managing to reverse the pressure. Now into row. Oh, wow. Can't we out of that? Flip. Just takes him off his feet. Look at that. Rolls wow. through. Still got wrist control. Just disorienting him. And then rolling through. First cover of the contest, too. Almost that over, just like that. Incredible. La Magistral. There's that matrix. Into oh, it. beautiful drop kick. Wow. And there's Strong the showing by Joe Lando, and Danny Black is in this contest early. As they look to whip Caven off the ropes. Double elbow. Rolling him up. Ooh. Double chop. Felt that one. Oh, wow. a big kick. Lando measuring up. Beautiful. Incredible double combo. Two and... and another, ah, close two. We could have had for it this Yeah, for this early in the contest, that would have been uh, disappointing for that 30-minute time limit, which I'm sure is eagerly waiting to be used to its fullest. Oh, there we go. Ooh, big knee from Hawks. Making the tag and Danny Black just a little disoriented. Hawks is deceiving. Oh, Look at that. So athletic. Full head of steam. Look at that speed by Hawks. Leapfrog. Oh, oh my right. goodness, Mr. Wheelbarrow. Victory roll out of nowhere. Not quite victory. Big kick, measures up. Moon standing, moon sort of his own, not to be outdone. Danny Black with another close two. I know I'm going to say a cliche, but we're struggling to keep up with the moves. How are they doing it? It's just, it has to be muscle memory. Incredible. Front face look now, keeping control. Goes for a snap suplex. Nicely blocked. You don't see suplexes blocked brilliantly like that often. Look at that. Well done. Different blocks. Incredible. Oof. I'm hooked. These two are evenly matched. 
There's Danny Gowan. Brings him out over the top rope. Just leveling on that back. And then Kaylee oh, coming no. in. We know how he effective he is here. Oh! Big knee across the back. This and could a be cover. In. Two. Close. That was close. A knee to the back and landing from the top rope. Dangerous combo. I love this. This is such a great contest here. It's almost like a human game of chess. You've seen some high flying. We've just seen some hard hits. I heard that one more than I saw it. Yeah, front face like, are we going to see another suplex here? Oh, look at that. That's how you look, snap. snap suplex through. It's you can see how much that pain Danny Black as Hawks makes his way back into the ring. Oh! Huge just penalty kick in a way. Absolutely. Moonsault Moon with his own. Oh, look at that. So slick. And a two, another close two. So good. Incredible match here. Again, with this, I know we keep talking about it, but with this slightly bigger ring, it makes tag team wrestling that more dangerous. Cuts off the ring. Danny is the furthest away from his partner. And Caven is psyching out Joe Lando over in that corner. Here we go, this is what we're seeing. Now some people might say that this is unfair, unsporting. I would say it's clever. You're cutting the ring in half, no chance for Danny to make the tag. It is a strategic move by Hawks and Cable. Absolutely. Right now Joe Lando is 20 feet from where he needs to be. As Danny Black is just wrenched in the corner by Hawks. Cable keeping the referee in check. I mean, but actually Lando kind of did that more. Indeed. He, one thing about the CPF is that they do really, really care for each other. And it's, I feel, if I was going into this match, I have to admit, I think I'd manipulate. Oh, oh went for that tag. Whips the leg out. Big elbow. Here we go, on the cover. Get it to ring. Two. Going to try and ground Danny. Danny is reaching for that tag at all times. Oh, here we go. He's sitting on that back and wrenching that arm in ways it's not meant to go. What makes this even more painful? is that you can see the tag. It's so close. Oh, whoops, Danny Black. Kind of unable to ignore whatever the crowd were chanting. I couldn't I quite follow it. Couldn't quite hear that myself. No, indeed. What we do know is that Caven is in control and the tag has been made. And they have five seconds to get out of the ring and make the legal tag. Fully taking advantage of that. And Hawks just toying with Danny Black a tiny bit, letting him get a little bit closer to Lando, but still a world between them. Oh! oh! Danny Black rolls in. Forearm. And trying to level the playing field a little bit. What's Danny going to go for? He's measuring up for something. It's going to be cool. Oh no. Oh. Look like Caven maybe caught the leg. I think so. Took the balance out. It seems like. As Hawks has one leg of Danny Black's. Oh, looking for an insiguri, but Hawks knows exactly what to expect. Telegraphed it well. Absolutely. So Danny close Black to the tag. Iron up again. Ducks through. Fake out. Oh, oh, big slap. Well done. And there's the tag. Tag Lando made. Lando makes the tag. Where's Lando going? Oh! Oh my goodness! Dives with that second rope out of nowhere. I did not see that coming. Catches through. Oh! Um. Just a step over Insiguri to Haven in the corner. Incredible. Hawks is out of it on the outside. Oh, big elbow. Roll wow. through with him. Oh! oh wow! Look at that DDT. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. And Hawks tries for a kick. Nips up. Lando ducks oh. through. Oh! This match is insane. Where's Lando going? Just flips out. Look at that athleticism from Lando. I can't Just keep up. Incredible. Off that top rope. Oh! No way! A 450. Oh! A and that didn't do it. A springboard. 450. Whoa. Talk about being caught off guard. That was an incredible flurry of maneuvers. Arguably, CPF have found their way back into this match as Danny Black is now the legal man as they just hoist, try and hoist Caven up. Caven doing an excellent job trying to take both of these guys down. Absolutely. Oh, that's not how you want them to interact. Double noggin knocker. Classic wrestling. Hang on. 
legal tag going on there. What's going on? Oh, CPF taking advantage of that. Whipping, came into the corner. Goes to run in. Oh! If one didn't get you, the other one will. And then Lando makes the tag. Yeah, we've got a bit of... I think everyone's a little bit lost here. Yep. Hawks Who's gives Danny Black a stiff knee, but ha coming back, right back out of it, Tornado DDT! Hand spring, Tornado DDT! Oh! Running Ibushi knee! knee. Wastelock! Through. Matrix Cutter! Unbelievable! Springboard! Cutter! Oh, cutter of his own! Everybody down. Everybody's Unreal. down. Real. I'm so glad Clark Andrews is not on commentary because we would have had no sound equipment left after well, that. Yes, would have been blown out instantly. What have we just witnessed? It would have been worth it, but wow. Incredible combo of moves. Referee Carl Williams trying to get proceedings back up and both men have to the count of 10 to stand. We knew this match was Stanley going Black to get... the tag. We knew it was going to get Hawks. mixy. Stanley Black is striding through with purpose. Oh, forearms. Just exchanging forearms. It's all well and good doing the pretty moves, but at the end of the day, forearm to the face. Oh, look at that. Danny Black, Spaghetti more, leg. more hurt than he let on. Danny's got an excellent forearm, but so... It's hard to compare the two. Uh, quantity will work. Oh! Just a jumping knee. Ends that exchange. Gets you right underneath the jaw. It really rattles your brain. What are we going to see here? Hoist him up. Is this what we... the shoulders. It's the double team manoeuvre. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no way, no oh, way. Rolls him through. What oh. are we seeing? Nobody home. Oh! Huge kick to the back. Doesn't want to waste that jump. No, that was an awkward position there that Hawks was in. He had to do something. Absolutely. And use this momentum to go around and then that spinal tap type of kick. But how impressive from Hawks to come down on his feet expecting to have to do a different move. Yeah. Phenomenal reaction. And to be clear, Joe Lando is still out on the outside. Making his way slowly back up. There, there we are. Go. Tag is made. You can see that this match has gone on long enough. Oh, Danny Black looking to take Hawks out of the equation. Crowd are firmly behind the UKPW Tag Team Forest Champions. Forced up, Caven, and he flips through, well telegraphed. Just leveling both the forearms. Speed of Caven. Got maximum distance. Reversal. Dumps up and it. over. Oh! Cannonball what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Danny Black. No way! Go flying. Oh! Through the ropes and hit what is Hawks Lando with a cutter. Doing? Meanwhile, oh! oh my goodness! What do you call? What, what is that? Oh. Right. That that should have been it. Was a shooting star sent on? I have never it, seen that before in UKPW. Like a, a 450 rotation. It was in reverse, and the the amount of whiplash that would have landed on Caven is unbelievable. Oh, please hit it again. I didn't see it enough. There's no way. I saw the whole thing, and I still want to see it again. That's an unbelievable move. Measuring up, but Caven's on his feet. Oh! And he catches the knee across that top turnbuckle. Oh, no. He's even dislodged the pad. Oh! And he catches the knee of Danny Black as he jumps. Oh, this is not a good position for CPF to be in, both suffering hits to the knee. Oh no, in so that tombstone position. Up. Tags made. As Hawks from the top. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna call that the Fentos driver. That's gonna, oh my, how? 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 That is an in- Clark Andrews is sat next to us, how? How, Clark it, Andrews? I can't believe what I'm seeing. That was an Incredible move. Some know it's the Meltzer driver. I'm going to call it the Fentos driver. All right. That was, oh. Well, it was six stars, whatever it was. It's just, we might not be in the Tokyo oh, Dome. Real. We are at the Westgate Hall. Unreal. Oh. See, I mean, the fact that Joe Lander was able to kick out of that is incredible. Unbelievable. The fact that Hawks and Caven had the guts to do that move. It's a risky move for everyone. For everyone. Well, also, they tried it earlier, it didn't work. Absolutely. Try it again. 
must feel like the momentum is beginning to shift in their favour. And I can forgive them for that, given that right now it's just the two of them and Joe Lando. Danny Black slowly making his way to his feet on the outside, but he's taking his time, probably quite rightly. He ate a knee. Oh, no! Oh, no. Ducks the floating into Gary from Hawks. And now Danny Black is back to his feet. Lando rolls through. Cannonball with the heel to the face. And they make the tag. Oh, here we go. Now hoisting Hawks up. Oh! Unbelievable. That's got to do it. And it's over. We'll, we'll wait for the official word. Grapple fans, how about that to kick off downward spiral? Dow Jones, so many match-winning maneuvers, but only one finished the contest. Talk us through it. Absolutely, that last maneuver, what used to be just Danny Black's finishing maneuver, the Black Buster, becomes a double-team move. They flip them round. It's almost like a whirlwind, but landing on the back of your head, you are instantly in pinning position. And in this clip, if we get the angle right, you will even see that Joe Lando adds a little bit of extra leverage at the end. But most importantly, Danny Black, Joe Lando are still the UKPW Tag Team Champions. Absolutely. Take nothing away from Hawks and Caven. They came milliseconds from the titles on numerous occasions and hit moves that should have ended matches. I mean, and every right to call that a finisher. I mean, I know we're still rolling replays here. I mean, what was that move from Joe Lando? I'm going to have to ask him later. That second rope reverse 6.30 in a way. Uh, I can't wait to watch that back, but well done to CPF. Unreal, Grapple fans. What a contest, but still your tag team champions, CPF. Grapple fans, let's take you backstage to Kimmy Kiss, who is with Luna Tricks. Grapple fans, please welcome my guest at this time, Luna Tricks. Luna Tricks, welcome to UKPW. You are debuting here today in Canterbury. Obviously, UKPW have never seen you before. The Grapple fans have never seen you. What can they expect from Luna Tricks? Oh, God, goodness gracious. Uh, fun, fire, and probably frantic energy. I'm very excited. I'm so glad to be here. Thank you for having me. We are very glad to have you. Good luck with your match today. Thank you so much. Back to you at ringside. As always, the UKPW women's division is hotting up at all the time. But we've got the debut from the Isle of Wight, Luna Tricks, taking on Let's just say someone who I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of, Rita Slayworth. Yes, indeed, Dow Jones, a phenomenal contest, no doubt, ahead of us. Lunatrix uh, embracing referee Tristan Stone and Clark Andrews <laughs> ahead of our match. Rich, I'm excited to be here. Isn't that nice? It's infectious, this energy. I'm now happy to be here. Uh, I, what? You weren't before with me? That, oh, I plead the fifth. Fair. <laughs> That's right, we've got a first time match here. Luna Tricks against Rita Slaywer, who seems to want to clean things up. She's come a long way to be here, to her credit. Now, thank you, Clark Andrews, Rita Slayworth. She debuted at Summer Jam 2023. Yes, indeed, I remember it well. And she defeated, she was defeated by Ronnie Knox at Showcase in this building last time. Yes, indeed, and that was a absolute classic as well. I remember that. I remember both matches like they were yesterday. Rita Slayworth almost wanting to come here, clean up, and almost get that win back. She needs to prove to the people of Canterbury that she is excellent and that the people of Canterbury are dirty. People here in Canterbury, not a fan of Rita Slayworth. Now we've seen that Marigold get involved before. Indeed, be interesting to see 
if it makes an appearance later. You'd hope not. If you're learning tricks or something. Absolutely. Rita Slayworth, not impressed with the people here in Canterbury. No, indeed, making it very apparent. And that's a way to get your opponent on the, on the crowd on your opponent's side. Now, this is going to be a phenomenal contest here. The reason why I say this is Luna Tricks, I've been told and have been informed that she is a, not only a phenomenal athlete, but has some explosive manoeuvres that can come out of anywhere. And we're away. Re Rita Slayworth, definitely, pardon the phrasing, the ground and pound hard striking, taking on the wrestling and explosive skills of Lunatrix. We're in for a treat. And away they go. Collar and elbow tie up. Nothing up to it. It's gonna come out stronger. I'll give you Rita Slayworth. There was a kick to the inner thigh there. I think that was to sort of say, who's boss? And the crowd, uh, yep, instantly behind Luna Tricks. Does not take much, it seems. There we go, Rita Slayworth using the momentum, throwing down Luna. Oh, just join that leverage, not a big height differential between them, just that you know, being able to kind of work those angles advantageously. Very experienced, Rita Slayworth, very, well, I suppose if you've been wrestling for 70 years. I mean, if, if you want to believe that, Rob, then fine. Well, the hell's from the 1950s. I mean, presumably she's been wrestling for a good chunk of the time. That's fair. Okay, I can't the argue that. skill suggests she's honed her craft for a number of years. I mean, that's how CVs work. You've had 70 years worth of experience. That's fair enough. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that looks off the ropes. Oh, big elbow. Nice flying back elbow there. Again, I was told she has lots of explosive maneuvers and we've just seen one. Oh, goodness me. Rita's not happy about that one, you can tell from her face. Long distance. Oh, huge European uppercut into oh. the corner. Six feet of extra momentum. Oh, oh. wow. You see the other post just gentle. Yeah. Crowd want one more. I don't blame them. That's two. It's a weird number. Oh, that time Rita telegraphed it. Almost like she'd had two to the face already. It's as if the crowd were that telling That time, her. however, Luna saw that. Oh, saw that coming. Nice backstabber type manoeuvre. Is it going to be over already? the contest, two. Kick out at two. And Rita not impressed. Indeed not. Just stalking to her feet. Hoisted up by Luna Tricks. Oh, but oh. making uh, some extra leverage there. Yeah, Tristan Stone was right there to administer the count. Hiked up. Slam. Huge slam. That is professional wrestling. Am I doing it right? Oh, just a stomp to chest of Luna Tricks. And a cover of her own, too. Some fighting spirit from Luna. And, oh, look at this, Rita, very cleverly. Oh, goodness, look at that, that's not going to be nice. Raking across that middle rope. Rita with an expression that says, what? What, what have I done? What's happened there? I just merely did a Roman face rake. Yeah. I was find, a Roman all over that ring. I mean, I find whenever you put the phrase Roman in front of anything, it tends to make it sound it's like it was a yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, I know what you mean. Just a stretch across the Roman chin. Exactly. Run the boot to the face. You've become a snooker commentator again. Yes. But Rita fully in control here. Again, going up for the scoop. Throws her up again, just in that fall away slam position. Slam to the floor, however. Rita has positioned her in the corner. I find this interesting. What has Rita got planned here? Well, she can do some really impressive manoeuvres when sufficiently compelled. Understand. 
Hang on, standing on a hair, come on. Referee Tristan Stone is asserting their authority to get Rita's feet off of Linda's hair. Oh no! Oh. That's just unnecessary. Incredibly painful, but effective. Indeed. And only for a second, that could have been worse. Now Rita's saying to Tristan to check that turnbuckle pad. Meantime. Oh, she has a cord from. Oh, goodness! Oh, Tristan, that's Tristan, I think you've got the pad right. Yeah, no, well done, Tristan. That was good. That was good ref in there. Tristan got that pad sorted. What's everyone? What's everyone booing? Tristan was just doing the job. There was. Um, there was some good officiating, is what I saw. It's important to check these things. Whoa! With a Fed's press out of nowhere from Luna Tricks and just hammering on the face of Rita. They are some huge elbows. Oh, nice drop kick from Rita Slayworth. Great drop kick from just Rita. Just presenting to this crowd after several of her maneuvers just to show off. Understandably so. Into the buckle. Rita's got some incredible kicks. Shoulder block. <laughs> Luna is having a fight from underneath here. Absolutely. Luna trying to rally this crowd. Rita just taking a well-earned breather. Oh no, arms trapped behind the ropes. Nothing good. Oh, big chop across the chest. Second chop. Oh, Luna Craig's just. Oh, here we go. Oh, looking to reciprocate. Oh, oh that a little one. bit more venom on that one. Looks like it hurt Lynn. To quote uh, one of our ring crew, that had some stank on it. Well, that did hurt Still. Still. <laughs> oh, turns around to just eat a four. Well, that was tasty. I don't imagine it was. Snapmare. Oh, oh over the head. Jumping elbow to the head. Jeez. <laughs> Something about Rita's offense that's novel, isn't it? The thing about wrestling is there's lots of different styles. If you, get, if you have a style that cannot be categorized, it gives you an instant advantage. Rita, as you say, has such a unique offense. You don't really know what she's going to oh. do next. So, look, to so run through, nobody home. Blocks a forearm, hits him back with one of her own. Rita is just so tough. And then saves her from the second rope. Goes for the cross wow. body, but look at that strength. Wow. Incredible. Rita having none of it. And a backbreaker just stretching out Luna Tricks and continuing to do so, just oh. wrenching that lower back. It's one of the most painful moves in wrestling. I don't think people give it enough credit. You can see that Luna is trying to fight out of it. Look at the position. And then the elbow in the ribs. Oh. The occasional extra bit of venom. Painful hold. What are we going to see here? Positioning Luna in the middle. Yeah, we've got hoisting the arms over the legs. Is this a camel clutch position? Yes, we are. Oh, the marigold. Oh, that. There's a marigold. Rita now showboating a little bit. Tristan Stone, admission the count. Well done. Foot on the rope as well. People here in Canterbury are not happy with Rita's cheating. Oh, Rita's not happy with the foot on the ropes. Again, her face very expression, you know, very expression heavy. There's a word for it, and it's escaping me now. Oh my goodness! Where did that come from? Just like, out of nowhere. I think I saw a Rita's huge, tooth fall out. A huge insecurity from Luna Tricks. Almost like a scissor kick. I'd love to see a replay of that because it was as if the step up version of the Integuri is the reason why that was so effective. But that it looked like she stepped up out of thin air. Incredible, right? So good. I'd love to see a replay of that. I think Rita has really that, been. That rocked her, and I get it. She's from an era of rock, but still. Here we go, trade off. Just exchanging forearms. Luna off the ropes. Just rocks Rita with a big clothesline. And another. 
ducks the clothesline of Rita's. Hoists her up. Oh! Big. Samoan drop. Well, well executed. Count oh. the two, but that's as far as she got. That right shoulder wasn't covered. Rita and was able to get Rita's it up. Rita's got two up just in case anybody was unclear on this. That's Every, true. You know, the one ultimately the source of truth on that, but it never hurt to have everybody agree. There you go. What's Luna going for now? Oh, double Looking underhook. Double underhook, but Rita going through. Calling for the rinse cycle. Oh, Luna's Bucking reversed. Oh! That's got to be it. It's an incredible move. And kick out from Rita. Impressive tenacity from Rita Slayworth to stay in this contest. That was a great move. I can't believe Rita's back on her feet. That's the thing about wrestling. You've got to get back on your feet because at any time you're on the ground, you could be pinned. Absolutely. Looking back, double underhook again. Breaks out. Huge forearm. Four for Rita. Yeah. Oh, reversal again. Oh. Giant European uppercut there. Rita process still processing that one, it seems. Luna off the ropes. Oh, a trip. That was a nice drop toe hold. What's Rita going to go for? Oh, she calls this. I, it's a it's a postcode. It's a Lancashire postcode. It escapes uh, me now. I'm going to call it the 01622. I think that's the Canterbury uh, dialing code. Rolls through. Here's that Go great that combo. Moonsault. Beautiful. Brilliant. And oh. kicks out too. You roll forward, you get discombobulated, and then you are landed with a backwards flip. What a great combo from Rita. Very impressive moonsault, but Luna is oh. the task. Oh, the disrespect. Rita, not happy with the situation here. No, indeed, she's sounded like she said nobody's supposed to kick out of the rinse cycle. Here we go. Perhaps measuring up for a second. Oh no, spins around. Luna ducks in. Oh! oh! Wow! Suplex position just to face plant to the canvas. It's a dangerous move. Indeed. Going for that double underhook again. Put the double underhook. Pedigree. It's worked for a lot of people. Yes, indeed. Does it work this time? It does. We'll wait for the official word. Well, there you have it, Grapple fans. After an impressive display between both competitors, Luna Tricks picks up the victory over Rita Slayworth with that pedigree manoeuvre. And Dow Jones, what do you make of that finish? I mean, it was a great match. It was a great move. When you look at all the moves that happened in this, there was lots of work on the upper body. There was lots of submissions. But at the end of the day, it was that double underhook, essentially a face plant into the mat, nowhere to go, picks up the three count. Luna Tricks wins on her debut. Now let's head backstage to Kimmy a Kiss, who is with Jay Alexander and Delphine. Grapple fans, please join me in welcoming my guests at this time, Jay Alexander and Delphine. Guys, today you were in a match against Two Man Day Trip to become number one contenders for the tag team titles. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good, Kimmy, because finally we are getting what we want. We've been treated like jokes for ages, and all we wanted was a little bit of respect. Today, we become number one contenders. In the future, we become UKPW Tag Team Champions. And the only thing in our way is one more team I've got a bit of history with. Two-man day trip. Whatever happens out there, Kimmy, don't say we didn't warn you. Um, back to you at ringside. Three 
Greetings, Grapple fans. Rob Ringside here with Dow Jones. And Dow, what a match we've got in store for these Grapple fans today. Absolutely. Lewis Basham, he is here in Canterbury. But most importantly, he has been undefeated in singles action since October 2022. He has defeated Devious Danny, Jay Alexander, Sean Jackson, Alexander Moore, Kieran Lacey, Prince Dean, and Cody Salahue. Yes, indeed. And in this last time he was in this very building, he took down the nail in a street fight with an unreal finish. It was one of the most outrageous matches I have ever witnessed. Hang on. I think. Basher is not happy with the people of Canterbury. His opponent for today, Boo Lamont, making, to my understanding, his UKPW debut, Dow Jones. Absolutely. Boo Lamont, let's go over to Kimmy a Kiss, where Boo had some words. <laughs> Grapple fans, please welcome my guest at this time, Boo Lamont. Boo, welcome to UKPW. Today is your debut here in Canterbury against Lewis Basham. Now, Lewis Basham is undefeated in UKPW at the moment. What are your strategies going into this match? Lewis Basham. Lewis Basham. You know, I love when my opponent comes with an instruction. Not only am I going to bash him, I'm faster, I'm quicker. I've got the element of surprise because I know Lewis Basham. Lewis Basham doesn't know Boo Lamont. Nobody in UKPW knows Boo Lamont yet. But after today, everybody in UKPW will know the name Boulamont. Not just Louis Basham, but everybody. Everybody on the roster and everybody in the audience is going to know exactly who I am. Louis Basham, I wish you the best of luck today because nothing's going to stop me from making my mark in UKPW. Back to you at ringside. Well, there you have it, Rob. Now, I need to get, I need to explain something immediately to everyone here. There is a bit of, uh, there's a full story with Boulamont here. So advertised for the day today was meant to be Tommy Kyle, who unfortunately injured his ankle in training. However, in what I think is a bit of poetic justice or um, poetic, I don't know what the word is, but back in 2008, a young Dow Jones stepped in on behalf of an injured Boo Lamont. It's all just full circle. It's full circle. circle. Of life. Akuna Matata and all that jazz. Yeah, I think Basham's giving me the eye. You don't want to be on the wrong side of that. Definitely not. Oh! Whoa. There we go. Attack before the bell. Boulamont just taking advantage of Lewis Basham's distraction. Whoa! Now, Boulamont has been wow. wrestling for years. He had to sort of semi-retire for a little while. But Boulamont is a wily veteran. He knows exactly what to do in that ring. Absolutely. He's getting in there quick, trying to just disorient and confuse Lewis Basham. Oh, wow! Took him off his feet with a crossbody. Two. Wow. Look at the power of the kicker. That was so good. Went halfway across that 20 foot ring. There was full venom in that crossbody. Yeah. Boulamont is fighting. Beautifully measured shots to the midsection, but bash with that power again. It's one thing to step up when someone oh. is injured, it's another thing to step up when your opponent is Lewis Basham. Absolutely. Can you imagine? In the call. Oh, here we go. Where's... Oh, Boo fighting. Oh, well done. Again. Telegraph that suplex. Boo Lamont understands. Use that leverage. It's going to go. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. He was going for a Tornado DDT, I suspect. But Weathers worked against him. Oh. He dead lifted him from that position. Lewis Basham. Now the call of this is professional wrestling. In honour of our hero, Clark Andrews. Wow, the crowd are incredibly divided. Absolutely. Is Lewis Basham starting to win hearts and minds? Oh my god, but Boo Lamont almost steals one. I really two. thought Boo was about to win. Absolutely. Lewis Basham get distracted just playing with his gamble. Or Tiny Hammer. Oh! 
What a suplex. Are there boots in the corner where Boo Lamont used to be? I think that was, yeah, absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry, Boo. I knew, I knew if you stepped up, this, this is good. it's great that you have, but I, when you watch this back, oh, I'm so sorry. Ducks that clothesline, though. I'm not if he wins. Win. Oh, look at that. He's going to do it that way. Catching the cross body, just caught by Lewis Basham. Huge fall away slam. That's unbelievable. That's a 20 foot ring, and I still thought Boulamont just, was going to clear it. I mean, I we had lots of discussions about getting a bigger ring. Uh, I'm sorry for anyone that ever faces Lewis Basham because it's just further and further for Basham to throw you. Indeed. Oh no, here we go. He's going for that full Nelson Look slam. This one out of nowhere. Oh, boo! Oh. Well done. Well, he sort of broke out of it. He's going to go. Going to let it happen if he can avoid it. Oh! Big stunner out of nowhere! And look at... Basically, look, Basham is disoriented to say the least. That really has stunned Basham. Blue Lamont in the corner. We're going to go for that Tornado DDT again. His way to the second rope. Oh! He did get it! He did get it! It looked to me like... I thought he caught him and speared him at one point. Where's Boo going? Surely not. Now Boo. Now time to get behind Boo Lamont. He could record the first singles defeat for Lewis Basham in over 12 months, but oh. Crowd tried to listen to entertainment. Mark Andrews. Meanwhile, oh! That full Nelson slam from Lewis Basham. And it's over. Wow. Wow. There is no winner. Lewis well, as quick as it begins, Grapple fans, this match is over. Lewis Basham remains undefeated in singles competition. Dow Jones, blink and you'll miss it. Full Nelson slam out of nowhere. I mean, we've broken this move down so many times. The ungodly power of Lewis Basham when he gets you in that full Nelson. There is no escape. Lifting you up and then with full power into the canvas. It is an instant three count. Lewis Basham picks yet another winner. Grapple fans coming up next. James Mason challenges Harry Sefton for his UKPW Interregional Championship. But first, Kimmy Kiss has informed us that she is backstage with Rita Slayworth. Grapple fans, please welcome my guests at this time, Rita Slayworth. Rita, you were defeated here again in Canterbury. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm not going to lie, it hurts. I've come all the way down from Lancashire to clean this place up and uh, face two opponents now at UKPW and I've lost twice. So, yeah, it hurts a lot. I actually quite like this crowd, but um, they don't seem to like me, which is fair enough. Um, but, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not upset about it. I'll take anyone on. I'll take, I'll take the best you've got, UKPW. I'll take the best you've got in Canterbury. I'll take the best you've got in Rochester. Anywhere in Kent, bring it on. I'll take on anyone. So, does this mean that you could potentially take on our UKPW Women's Champion, Kira Kamara? Uh, 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 yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, definitely not absolutely terrified of Kira Chimera, absolutely not scared. Well, best of luck for everything in the future. Back to your inside. Dow Jones, what a match we are in for. But absolutely, Rob Ringside, James Mason, Harry Sefton, but nothing excites me more than traditional British wrestling. And we are going to be in for a treat when James Mason, the, I can't even think of the word, the advocate of British wrestling takes on the cold-blooded Harry Sefton. Cold-blooded is right, Dow Jones. We'll talk more about Harry Sefton in just a moment.
So, Grapple fans, this is the scale of the challenge in front of James Mason. A man undefeated in singles competition for nigh on three years. Since the return of UKPW in 2021, he has not lost a singles contest. He retired JJ Lynch and blew up the UKPW tag team division. He retired Rex Armstrong and he has set his sights on the inter-regional title and what Harry Sefton wants, Harry Sefton gets. Picking up the victory, last time we were in this very building, the Westgate Hall in Canterbury at Showcase, taking out David Francisco and Elf Edwards in a triple threat match for the title which was at the time vacant but is now in the hands of that man there. Harry Sefton has been gunning for a championship in UKPW. He seems to think that there's a conspiracy against him. Harry Sefton is one of the most talented and skillful wrestlers, but his attitude certainly isn't. One more time, the following match is scheduled for one fall. With a 30 minute time limit, He's my hero. He is a decorated, talented, prolific wrestler. A credit to the scene, but. I think we know who the crowd's behind in this one. I think that's fair to say. But to recap on my previous statement and complete it, prolific and decorated though he is, this is Harry Sefton. Absolutely. This is going to be interesting. We, both of these men, had an incredible outing last time here in Canterbury inside this very hall. My question. We know we're going to see some great wrestling. We know we're going to see some good moves. The question for me in this one is, will Harry play it fair? It's a good question. He won the championship fairly. But we've seen examples of where he is less inclined to do so. So we'll have to see. The thing that always gets me with Harry is that Harry, I think he knows he's good. Harry knows. I think that's clear. He's got the, but sometimes he bends the rules when he doesn't really need to. And what I quite like is that James Mason is also toying with this. Again, James Mason, he's wrestled more matches than anyone, I oh know, in some cases, longer than people have been alive. And I think he knows a, a trick oh. or two in the book. Nice. He's actually through a cover there for one count, but nevertheless, I mean, that's I, the message you want to send to Harry Sefton is, you're cold and calculating, but I'm not without my tricks. Absolutely. The thing about James Mason, when I wrestled Mason a few times in the past, he can pin you in almost any position. It's an amazing skill being able to get someone's shoulders on the map, almost and perfectly that. illustrated. He can get you on the ground in oh, so many ways. Wrenching those fingers. There's some joint manipulation going on there. Harry Sefton needs those fingers. He uses submission maneuvers. You need hands. Hands need fingers. It all feeds together. All makes sense, Rob. Right? Yeah, that's, that's what you have now. It's correct. But James. Not my winning personality, is it? <laughs> I mean, it could be award winning. When you hold the awards, sure. Oh, nice little backhammer there. Traditional Make British wrestling hold. It's difficult for Harry Sefton to grab any kind of limb to steady himself or rework it. So Mason had a back hammer, and this is arguably now a hammerlock on the ground. It's one of the most fundamental Ooh. wrestling moves. But once your arm is trapped, and now he's trapped both arms. James Mason just showboating a little bit for this crowd here in Canterbury. This just is like, making oh it look goodness. easy. 
This None is why, of this is easy. No. This is why wrestlers will train flexibility to try and make these submissions less painful. With your arm behind your back. Cover. Out of one. Nice. Chris Evans smarting from that point. We'll see in the Oh, Harry went for his legs. Look at that. That would have been. You can see Mason's quite like that move. He's like, yeah, yeah very good. That's an excellent angle. Inarguib in inarguably respect between these two, as there has to be. Oh, there we go. Harry got him. He's wrenching that leg. Look at that. The speed of Harry's effort. Got that pulling on that toe. Absolutely. Yes, he's going to grab. Get that forearm try. across the nose. Greg Mason looking to keep him from doing that. Just Comes a bit of a surfboard manoeuvre. Harry Hess up and just flips through. Again, just really impressive from both men, just the flexibility and the quickness. Whoa, look at that. Incredible. Huge power from James Mason. What a joy to watch. Maybe not for Harry. No, indeed. He has a different view. Hey, he has a different view. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Interesting Very good. There from it's almost like a cobra clutch type of maneuver. Yeah, just stretching him out, wrenching his back. Again, Harry Sefton's going to rely on that kind of area for submission moves. Absolutely. Crowd chanting for attack. We'd have a new champion if that happened. The thing about traditional wrestling is all about leverage. How can you keep the leverage on someone? And James Mason. Knowing that Harry can grab a body part is very cautious as well when approaching Harry. So we've got that knuckle lock there. Now, oh, look at this. Nice wrist lock. Goes round and wrist lock, top wrist lock of his own. And back around goes for that back handle, but takes Mason down. Ankle pick. That ankle again. Holding that foot down. It's a great, this is an awkward position because you'll see that Harry's left leg is pinning down the right foot of Mason. But now that the foot is free, it means that Mason can get back up on his, onto his feet. What are we going to see here? Into a monkey flip! Oh, wow! Huge wow. elevation on Harry Sefton there. James Mason wants to know if the crowd wants more. I think they do. Wow! So good. It went from naught to cacophony. I think that might be the next name of the next wrestling show. Is there a sound guard now for that or something? Side headlock. Harry knows what danger that is. Into the ropes. Got to release the hold. Some would say it's a coward's way out of a submission hold. That's why Dow Jones used to do it all the time. With some flips of his own, just take James back to his feet. Wow, what an arm ringer into the mat. Look at the way that Harry is now taking control here. And joint manipulation of his own. Yeah, absolutely. And look at the face of Harry Seffin, just pure contentment. And they say he's cold-blooded. What is Mason doing now? Using, this is the traditional style. They try and use momentum. Oh, oh. wow, he caught into a head scissors. And now Harry Seffin is on the mat just like that. Incredible wrestling skills. You do not see wrestling like that over in America, only in Britain, only in United Kingdom Pro Wrestling. How's Harry going to get out of this? Great question. Oh. oh, wow. Look at that. Now, what Harry's trying to do is pry open the knees. Look at that. Well done. And now we've got a bit of a Indian death lock. Oh, wow. Shoving Mason down, trapping the legs. Really straight. And then look at that. Double underhook floats over into wow. a cover. How did Mason do that? He was on his feet before Harry got anywhere near. Nice drop toe hold, floats over, spins over. This is classic Greco Roman into the full Nelson onto the floor. Mason has got a whole lot of momentum. Back hammer, hammerlock, grabs the leg, ties him up. Oh, oh that's, that was unbelievably painful. He's got all four joints. Is he going to? Him. He's going to have to. I think he's holding Harry. Harry say he's not, but it does he's seem to be the way the tide is turning. He's got a bit of a chicken wing at the top there. Can only keep hold of one arm, and now Harry can roll towards the ropes. Power of Harry Sefton to get to that position without the use of his legs. 
incredible upper body strength. And just there again is a great showing of why Mason is considered one of the most dangerous wrestlers to be in the ring with, especially when you're having a pure rules match. And let's not forget that the championship is on the line. This is Harry's first defense. Floats through. Oh, look at that. Now, Mason's got to try and get out of this. Now, that's fascinating. Leg lace. To the casual observer, that would look like Mason had Harry in a sharpshooter. Yes, but it actually, would. Mason was in incredible pain. Absolutely, because Harry Sefton can do that to you. Harry Sefton is a wonder when it comes to the professional wrestling ring. You take nothing away from James Mason, as we've talked about. Superlatives barely do him justice, but Harry Sefton is in the advantageous position of being the champion at this moment in time. And until a definitive pinfall or submission, he remains. So. This is incredible because. Although the Mason was trapped, he oh. was able to get out of that manoeuvre and has now trapped Harry's arm. This is for I'm hoping our cameras have been able to capture the incredible technique. And look at this, he's now got a leg lace around the arm. So now Harry is super tight. Mason's making this look easy. Oh my goodness! Look at that. But look Harry's reversed! Shoulder. I think Tristan was slightly out of position there. Makes it did get the shoulder up, but now he's paying for it. Absolutely, that shoulder's Harry's saying that shoulder's not going to go up again. Ooh, just stomping it into the bottom rope. Oh no, this is what that top shoulder. But so Dow, this these are covered ropes. They are wrapped in tape, but this is cape. Indeed, and. It's just, it, it's, you never want to get your arm caught in here. And this is what we were talking about, Rob. Harry having to use the, let's just be honest, using the ring to his advantage. He doesn't need to do that. Why does he have to use, oh, there's that borderline. I would like to get that move banned, that throat thrust. I don't think that's a legal move. Oh, the venom in that throat. The thing it's about- Mason just arching his back. Oh, there we go, Mason shot for himself. Trying to get some offense back in, but Harry very much enjoying a slight position in the driver's seat for the possibly, arguably, I spoke too soon. I couldn't even finish that sentence. That's how even this contest has been. It's, oh, oh my goodness. Rocks Harry to the ropes. There's Harry going. Oh, one of his own and Harry to the floor. Oh my goodness. And a cover. Taking control. Big boots. Big boots ahead of James Mason. Nice sent on. The shoulders up. Tristan, that should have been a one. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. James Mason just maneuvering shoulders. Harry's just trying to pin both. Soaking it all in. Off the ropes. Oh! Went just through the ropes! Losing the momentum of a dive through into the crowd. And now just... Arguably either man in this contest could be justified in taking a breather. Absolutely. Crowd still trying to get Mason back into this contest, but Harry very much enjoying a spell of momentum at this point. It's a cover. And a two. And a two again. Boots in the midsection, nice and rock from that one. Oh! Strong kick. Just stomped to the midsection. Oh! Jeez. Wow. Huge European uppercut. Harry with one of his own. 
just changing them back and forth. Just back and forth, but they're trying to get a backslide. Just using that momentum to roll him through. Again, Mason kicking out of one. Double hand chop to the sternum. Oh, one of his own. What a physical contest this has been. I was expecting technical excellence. We've had that, but there's also been a certain visceral assault by both I mean, men to the other. Mason. Getting spiteful. You're so right, Rob. Mason does not want his pedestal taken by Harry Sefton. Harry Sefton does not want to be beaten by the old guard. No, indeed not. It would be a good way to start your reign as inter-regional champion. Especially not losing the title. But no, absolutely. Yeah. Even a disqualification picture would feel like it. Feel quite a good picture as well. Looking through. Flip. Monkey flip. I love Big a monkey elevation. flip. It's a great move, and yeah, he did it well. Look at that senton. running senton. Vicious. Oh, we were a hair's breadth away from a new interregional champion, Dow Jones. So good. Sefton looking yeah. disoriented, to say the least. Just whipped into the corner by Mason there. Are we going to get another one? Could be. Oh! No. Wait, what, what was that? Hang on. And two. Oh, and three. No. There's the bell. And the match is over. Wait, Harry Hef Sefton with a pinfall victory. I, I didn't have a great angle on that, but it looked to me like his feet were on the ropes. Harry's feet were definitely on the ropes. I wonder if... Mason's head hit the turnbuckle. Well, Grapple fans, there you have it. Still your interregional champion after a questionable pinfall victory, Dow Jones. The cold blooded Harry Sefton. Ab absolutely, Rob. The thing. Harry, I Hello, don't know, Harry Sefton. What, what's going on? I don't know why you think there's a conspiracy. I, all I get angry about, Harry, all, no, uh, all I get angry about, Harry, is that you don't need to cheat like that. This was a great... They're like that. His feet were on the ropes. Yeah, I saw the ropes too. Oh, ho, ho. Oh. That's Mason with some choice words. That was an incredible... James Mason doesn't lose his patience like that. You want him back? I, I don't think I can do that. It's, I, maybe a rematch. Like, I'm, nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. Give it up one more time for James Mason! You have to give it up for James Mason, Grapple fans. What a performance. Arguably a millisecond away from being new champion on a number of occasions and some excellent technical wrestling and submission manoeuvres. But the three count is what matters and Harry Sefton has taken that one. It's just so annoying that Harry yet again has had to resort to, I'm going to say it, resorting to cheating to beat one of the best people in the Britain. I, I, sorry, Rob, I'm losing my words again. Just Harry annoys me that he has to stoop so low it, I'll let you take over, Rob. Let's throw to Kimmy a kiss, who's backstage with the suplex merchant, Alf Edwards. Hello, Grapple fans. Please join me in welcoming my guest at this time, Alf Edwards. Alf, how are you feeling today here in Canterbury? Oh, Canterbury. Brings back memories of last time I was here. Competed in the freeway for the Inter-Regional Championship. And here's the thing, with the crowd here, normally I come out and they don't really like me. But something happened last time I was here. I was in the ring, I hit my suplexes, and everyone in that arena was chanting, chanting my name. And it got me thinking. It got me thinking. Maybe I've been wrong this entire time. <laughs> you think, 
you, you think I'm going to care for those people that cheer me. No, no, no. They're all jokes. They're all people that don't deserve to see me wrestle. That's what it is. I am coming here today. I'm going to beat Liam Judd. And I'm walking out with a victory. And I'm going to make 2024 a bigger year for the suplex merchant, Alf Edwards. Back to you at ringside. Greetings, Grapple fans. Welcome to UKPW Downward Spiral. Rob Ringside, Dow Jones. And is it me, Dow, or did it just get steezier? No, oh, it absolutely does. We are joined by the current UKPW Tag Team Champions, Danny Black and Joe Lando, CPF. Welcome to the commentation Thank station. Thank you for having Thank us, you. guys. Thank you so much. Our pleasure. Wait, what do you make of the match ahead? I know you're going to be taking a close interest in it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're scoping them out. I don't really... What is these guys' deal? Explain it to us. Do they have a tag name? Currently, there is no tag team name. Well, right. well that's not a good start. No, it's not a good <laughs> not start. Good start the story here, CPF, right. is Delphine and Jay Alexander, rivals, right. but they kept losing. But as a, as a team, they win. Right. And now, they're intertwined with a two-man day trip. They have a tag name. They do have a tag name. Yes, they do. Yes, they, they, they are the two-man day trip. By the look of it. Indeed. Drawn on. So strike one, they don't have a tag name. Indeed. They did, however, pick up a tag victory against Sean Jackson and Liam Judd last time we were here in Showcase. So they have some credibility. Absolutely. Lovely. Yeah. And they defeated the big steppers at Blizzard Brawl. Speaking of win. credibility, though, yes, this indeed. man right here. Yes, look at the bubbles. The people love it. And to reiterate to all the Grapple fans watching, the reason why CPF are here, despite the fact that you want to be steezy, of course. And, and to be near Rob Ringside's magnificence, hopefully. Well, well maybe. The I'll allow it. I'll I knew it. this was going to be difficult. It's Prince Dean. <laughs> the pinnacle of speed. <laughs> yes. No, CPF are the pinnacle of speed. However, Prince Dean. I like his bubbles. Yeah. I do like the bubbles. I like the chaps. There's an energy, there's an enthusiasm about him. You can't there help is. but like. There's a something, I'll give you that. They mention it on a lot. The the up X aura Prince Dean possesses. Absolutely. This he is him. aura. He is him. He is something else. So now and that, that Clark and that's what it is, there. Yeah. Now that Clark Andrews has done the intro, the reason why CPF are here oh, there we go. is yeah. the oh, yeah. the winner. The winning team in this match will take on CPF for those UKPW Tag Team Championships in Maidstone. Gents, I know I shouldn't ask this question right off the bat. Of the two teams, do you have a preference which team you would like to face in Maidstone? Ooh. Whichever team wins, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, that yeah, is, that is how this contest is set it up is how it works, but yeah. it works like that for a reason, because we want choice. to prove ourselves as the best, therefore we will face the best. Yes. Very wise indeed. Very. Right you know. now my money's on Prince Dean and Cody. All right. Interesting. Because if Might get full going. I'm, I'm already having the match up in my head. And Jay Alexander and um, Bell Delphine, is it? He, yep. they, they don't have a tag name. They don't have tag gear. Prince Dean and Cody, two-man day trip. Yes. They have a tag name, yep. but they don't have tag gear. But they no, do have matching true. armband, yep. if you look there. They have, okay. Yep. So. Wow, that was loud next to me. I'm glad I had the ear defenders on. Or it might have enhanced the noise. As Jay and Cody start us off here. Now, to answer Danny's question from earlier, how did Jay and Delphine become a team? They were singles wrestlers. They kept losing. I don't want to say it that way. They dressed as singles wrestlers still. I, I, I have an issue with it. See, and if you look at CPF, we have a tag name. We have a catchphrase. We have the Steezy ones. And we have tag gear. And we also have these tag belts. So yeah, everything is d designed to be ensembles. It's, I it's, it. it's obvious what we, we are. are. We, are we are one. We are the close personal friends. Everything we do is obvious. We have the same styles, the same gear. We have the tag name. We're just in sync. Whereas when I look at these teams, are they in sync? We will find out. As Delphine Headlock. and Prince Dean, Prince Dean. now in the ring. Prince Dean whips off the ropes. Oh, Goes run. Oh. And he gets the shoulder tackle. You, you guys make excellent commentation stations. Oh, this, wow. this is my first of a time. We bring Steve to everything. Prince Dean with the leapfrog. Belle Delphine goes under, pushes off, goes for the hip toss, blocked. 
I'm going to sit back. This Into is great. Irish whip. And Prince yeah, Keen pays off yeah. the hip toss. Will he get the three count? Not this early. Cover. He did get a two, though. Notice this is the first minute of the match, and there has been a two count already. Yeah. I mean, if these guys keep going the way they're going, maybe we become a tag team, and then hey, maybe we become tag team champions. We're just easy at what wow. we do, man. I don't think. Oh, oh, Back body oh. chop lands on his feet. Shades of Joe Lando. Well, it, man. Wallahi, you do that. This is the traditional Prince Dean madness. See, if this was us, we'd just flip on his face. Yep, or we'll slap him. I love a good slap. Oh, Prince oh, Dean goes up and over. Some Prince Dean goes up and over. Yep. When will Bell Delphine learn? Oh, oh he's learned. There he is. He learned. Just as he said that. It's as if he's got an into your commentator. But that's, that's not possible. Has he got an earpiece? Did you no. plant this? No. This is a conspiracy. Oh. Yeah, There's the slap, I told you. Oh. Slap always works. Knocks us head off each damn turnbuckle. Watch your language. We'll just dub in the word steez. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how that works. That one's fine, right? Each steezy turnbuckle. They are custom UK PW turnbuckles. Yes. Bell Delphine. Wow. Okay. Whoa, Whoa, the the wow. Now that is the steez I was talking about earlier. He is the personification of steez. Well, Just kidding. We I think are, Delphine's are. noticed he, that Prince Dean uh, telegraphed that one. Prince Dean goes for one of his own oh, and connects. He connected with the hip toss and now the monkey flip. Bell Delphine needs to stop. Look at that, going for a trying to outclass Prince Dean because it's catches. not doable. Wow. Wow. Big wow. Urinagi. Trying to put him away early. Second two count of the match. Absolutely. You guys are good at the moves too. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, we Always are good. little more wrestling more. nerds, so we do know names. No, that's moves. good. That's good. We need that. You're known to do them, baby. Yeah. I'm just going to sit back. I'm really enjoying this. Well, Jay's tagged in now. The bigger man of the two, is he? Well, yeah, slightly, I guess. In, in height, I think yes. Caleb has a tiny bit of size on him. He does. It must be noted both men are in incredibly good shape. Shouts out there. Indeed, yeah. yeah. Jay, not to be underestimated. Blind tag by despite, Cody. Despite no last the singles name. record. Oh, big strike by Cody. Oh, really oh. neck break by Pinstein. Now these Jobby. two, they have some... There's some there's chemistry there. Yeah, they do have some chemistry. Despite the, the coordination lacking in the gear front, the, mm. the, the moves probably matters more, I guess. Oh, yeah. It all helps. Him. Takes him to the Ooh. other ropes. Quick Got tags from Jim and Now No, I've seen this before. Oh. Prince Dean once again is going to go up and over into the... Oh, wow. He sat on him. Sorry, I, I did ad-lib that. Yes. Shades of Gunther. Oh. Into Ooh. the leg drop. Lovely. Vintage Cody. It is. Patented maneuver. Oh, oh. Handspring. With the spring. Oh. Into oh. the headbutt. You've seen Ishimori, but have you seen Prince Dean? No, superstar headbutt perhaps. Yes, perhaps. Will well, Barrows in oh, into maneuvers. the centre. Oh, wow. Shades of A to A. Cody, once, get the cover. This again. might be a two here. Once again, showing that double team. And it is. Looking both double legs. team synergy. Good cover, good no, cover. Really bodes in the favour of the two-man day trip, I must say. My bet's Do they have an good. abbreviation? What was it? TM. DT, TMDT. Yep. There you go. That's quite cool. Yeah. Sounds, sounds like that New Japan. What's Zack Sabre Jr. in? Uh, TMDK. Yeah, sounds there like that. Go. I watched some. Oh, 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 look at that. God damn. Jay Alexander, the elevation. Oh, oh into the back oh, kick. Lovely. Jungle. Jay Alexander is a shooter. Absolutely. And and once count. again, despite their singles records not being so favourable, neither Jay Alexander nor Delphine is to be underestimated as a wrestler. Both excellent. Jay Alexander is technical no, and specialist. Credit where credit's due. They, they are big men. They are. Indeed. So they've now got now perhaps Cody. this is some of this tag team chemistry oh, coming in. Oh, Double Boston. back elbow. Not quite. The cover. Two. Two count. Now it looks like this no-name tag team. Tag team. Yeah. Alexander and Delphine. Can you give them a name? Let's give him a name. Um, Think of something good. Oh, wow. Pressure's on you. Oh, this this is where we get banned from Cartridge, Daniel. So. Yeah. Keep uh, it PG. I like that you refer to each other by full name, Daniel. Yes, one of you's in trouble with the other. See, now so. I am a just Joe, so he can't even do it back. Oh, there is no Joseph in this. Oh, they are firmly in control. Let's get back to the match left. There we go. Come on. Oh, if, we can, if we can. Now, that yes. was unnecessary. What? That is a vicious streak in Jay Alexander. He is if, a he, if he tried that on me, I would... Oh, yeah, oh, displeased. Wow. Oh, I would yes. be very displeased. 
and he would be distazed after I <laughs> see what you did Come on, there. this is just coming Love off this. the top of the dome, baby. This, this is, is where the UKPW tag team champions. Absolutely. We don't give any consideration to commentary <laughs> skills, but clearly we should. But then maybe you'd be undefeated. Back to the match, boys. Back Come to on. the match. All right, right. Another two count. There hasn't been a one count in this match, but there also hasn't been a three count in this match. Oh, we'd have known by then because we'd have had the, the hammer had to come out. The bell. Was oh, chop and the knee across the ear of Cody. Oh, hasn't Vicious. Got the arm fully down there. See, that's where these two tag teams differ. I, I feel well, I feel Bell Delphine and Jay Alexander, they have a vicious I'm, I am explaining, they have a vicious streak. Whereas the two man day trip, they have more of a comedic streak, if you will. Well, a Something victory over these two. So will the no fun doubt. and games get them the win or yeah. is the vicious streak gonna prove handy? Well that's that's the question, isn't it? The uh the ultimate way to get taken seriously is to become number one contenders for the tag Absolutely. And the thing with CPF. True. What's Jay doing? He's illegal. illegally in the Oh ring. He's out. no worries, it's fine. Oh, Prince Dean, Close. watch your legs, watch your legs, Prince Dean, because Jay Prince Alexander Dean, is sneaking. stalking his he's prey. And oh, just oh, right at oh. oh, Prince Dean lands defeat. Oh. This is intense. Pulls his punch. Bear just in mind, the him, legal man. men are still Bell Dolphine and Cody. Oh. See, Cody and Jay. Bell Dolphine are... takes full. You keep using his name. I'm not sure. I think there's a case of mistaken identity here, because that's not That's not her. That's not Bell Dolphine? No, that's no, not. it's not the Delphine. It's oh. the rest of the Delphine. Oh. So that's why he's been doing so many wrestling moves as opposed to so sort of Twitch streaming and so so other services are available. Whose bath water did I buy? Um, Not his? I, do, do, I, I mean, I don't know why I would know the answer. Oh, oh okay. Big pop up. Oh, pop up in? Yeah, let's go back. Let's into the please, wall, let's please go back to there. this point. So here's the thing I don't agree with, and maybe you can explain this, maybe there's a reason. Mm. Why did Prince Dean not just slap Jay in the face when he pulled him off the apron? Ah, now this is the underlying tension of the whole affair, is that Jay Alexander and the two-man day trip were historically very close. Right. They're not particularly happy that he's teaming with Delphi. So there's a motion. Yeah, yeah there's, there's absolutely a motion. They're fighting with a motion. Here's where Indeed. I disagree, because if me and Joe are facing each other, we don't hold back. I oh, mean, we've, we've seen by we've, Cody! We've, we've this seen, boy is on fire! We've seen that in the UKPW ring, the pair of you give each yeah. other as good Touch as you get. Touch the bell, Delphine. Or just bell. It's Sorry. just Delphine. Oh. Oh, there's the slap in the face. And the wow. oh my God, he made the tag! And there it's Prince Dean. House of Fire, big clothesline. With another one. And oh, there's a Guri. Almost landed back elevation. on his feet. Into the corner he goes. Oh, and a halluva kick. Now that was a hell of a kick. Here he goes. Oh, oh straight to Mark Davis. Davis. Oh. oh, see, we're just so good at our oh, damn job, man. Backstabber. Oh, oh, into oh, his nuts. Into oh, his and nuts. they do not want to be in that corner with Prince Dean in the ring. Oh, I hope he was wearing a cup. It's time for what? What's it time for? Listen to him. Shut up. Oh. Oh. It's the best move oh, ever! Buster, double whammy! Double whammy! He's sitting on his goddamn face! Oh. Something Bell Delphine is used to. <laughs> Holy wow! That would get you kicked <laughs> off gaming services for moves like that. Oh man, no, I did so well to keep it together. You were doing so well. It's alright. Prince Dean, it's all right. G up the crowd. crowd. Nobody will know. Now Nobody look, Jack Alexander oh, and Delphine, they look like they're trying to leave. It does look they're like dipping, they're, they're just straight up dipping. Oh, but Prince, Prince Dean has them trapped. Wow! Oh! Into the league splash! Wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> yes! Throw him back in! You can get the pin, go on. I think I have an answer, a proper answer to your question. I, I want to face the two-man day trip. They are on fire. Here he Absolutely. goes, another springboard. Springboard into the oh, cross body, and he takes the big man down. Cover to in the middle of the ring. Almost. That's the closest that we've got to close. a three count that in this was, match so far. That was the closest you are. Now, if this is CPF, right. I would make the tag, and I would go for a tag team maneuver to finish it. And that is what they're doing. That seems to be the playbook. They have some sense, is what I'm saying. Absolutely. Now, oh. we wouldn't let that happen. No way. Oh! oh. Jay Alexander, oh, Prince, the legal man. Prince Dean's out. Ducks one from Cody oh. into oh. the Michael Michael Sneed. Sneed. Oh, uh -oh. Prince Dean. Ah. Suplex oh. City. New York, not traditionally known for its suplexes, but there they are. And there's the tag. Delphine, the legal man. Big European. No, he's actually American. Oh. oh, that was nice. I would kick out personally. 
Ooh. Oh, he did, he, I don't think he was going to kick out of that. Good thing Cody was there. See, now that they left Prince Dean in the ring, although he looked like he was down, he was slightly playing possum as he, he pounced and broke up the cover. You need to make sure the other man's out or at least covered. Absolutely. If they had a tag name, maybe. This is why you're the tag team champion. This, no, is, this, this is, is where we this are. This is the kind of searing insight we need. Indeed. Prince Dean blocks it. Oh! oh. That's stun gun? I suppose. I play some of the WWE video games. That is a stun gun if I've ever seen one myself. Cody's saying he's done. Yeah, Cody's good. It's two on one at this point. Oh, Caleb. Oh, oh, to the show this. Oh, he goes for it. That was fantastic strength by Cody. Caleb is not a small man. Oh, super kick. Boosts him onto the second rope. Gives him a double chop and another double chop. That's a quadruple. Yeah, look at that. Oh, sits out, keeps hold of the Shades wrist, into the two, and oh, Delphine just Ooh. kicking that. Car crash pin break. That was very close there. Are your picks still the two-man day trip? Um, you know what, I've got faith. I think, I think they still got it in the bag. But Jay... Fair to say whoever wins is the most deserving. Absolutely. Absolutely. And Jay and Delphine have impressed me so far. Let's remind ourselves, they are fighting right now for the opportunity to take on Steve's. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Steve's guys. Steve's guys. That was yeah. Good. Yeah. I like you. I appreciate it. I like you too. I like you too. Alex. But you didn't come up with that one. Alex. Do better, please. More pumps. I keep saying that. Dearly noted. Dearly oh. noted. Big double chop across yeah. the throat. Jane Delphine in the driver's seat. Oh. Opposite corners. do si do Under the clothesline. Onto the, the middle in the ropes. Club. Oh, Cody Double Breakers! Cody Double breaker. Cody Breakers! Yep. Double oh, cover! Two! This is it! Oh! They both kick How out! How is it not? How is it not? That was the perfect Everything opportunity. Everything synchronised, including the kick out. I am flabbergasted. And this is still on. So credit where credit's due. Absolutely. They're still fighting this one. Again, I don't, take nothing I don't away like not having a tag name to call. Well, that maybe if they win this, they'll have to... Maybe that'd be a Can condition we put that in the for contract? the match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stipulation. Yeah. You've come up with another great point, Alex. Do better. I'm kidding, Alex. Oh, oh, oh! oh. 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 He's, oh. he's caught him. Caught him. Caught him. him. What's he doing? I'll throw him into the guardrail. Oh, oh. The that works. Oh. That hardest, works too. The hardest part of the ring. Mid, Shades of Kevin Steen. Hardest part of the ring, unless I'm. Oh, Cody. Delphine. Oh, oh, Cody is unleashed! Oh, he's, just ham. he's just going ham. Now this is the mean streak that the two-man day trip oh. needs. Huge but it super kick from down. Jay. Oh, Jay Alexander. I'm Shuffling Delphine out of the ring. Eh? Referee trying to get this yeah. contest back in order. That was the legal, legal tag. Man. Well, Harley, Cody is finished. Lifting up for a double team. Oh, 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 oh slips. slips the back. Cody ducks through. Oh! oh. Drop Come kicks on, Jay into Delphine. Oh, roll up, roll up, roll up, roll up. Vintage Cody. Oh, Stop 182. Shouts out, Mandrews. Look at that. Cody Cody's feeling it. it. But there's no man to tag. Oh. Cody's dad Cody, is not on the apron. No. You've got to do it on your His own, dad. Shun. Prince Dean's not there either. I don't know why Prince we... Prince Dean's dad. His daddy. Whoa. I don't... Okay. Crowd behind Cody as oh. he looks to oh, fight that. his way out of a Shot. two on one. Overhand. Lay him in. Overhand. Delphine oh, with a super kick CB, to Jay Alexander. CB, I would never do that. I'd never kick you in the face, Daniel. No, oh, wow. Well. I don't mate. think it was intentional. No, Nevertheless, it, it stuck. It looked it to me. Oh, jeez. Oh, Big knee to the face of Jay Alexander. Cody's got to have this one won. He might be out. Oh, Pushes the, the leg. Oh. Delphine breaks the cover. Now, that tells me Jay Alexander doesn't have a, a fierce super kick. I do. If I did kick you in the face, you'd be down for the count. Please don't. I won't, I won't, I'm just theoretically. See, that's, that's, a, that's the respect right there. As Danny exactly. realises that's not good to place to be in. Unless we I were wrestling each other, then I would just slap you. Oh, oh, oh no. wait a minute. Oh no, that's Amanda not fair. That is not Jay fair. Alexander. Oh. The pit of The cover. Three. Oh, that's hey. It. We have number one uh, contenders. Whoa. We have them, but I don't respect them. I don't like I, the way they I think I don't about like me. that. This was, this was a banging match up until that. They ruined it. They ruined it. Um, I'm not sure about that. Is that legal? 
Alex is that oh, legal? He's gesturing for the belt here. What he doesn't know is, is that legal? I'm now you kicked him in the nuts. Oh, I can't go that far. No, no, you no, kicked no. him in the nuts. I'm now gonna go you on prime. Him in the nuts. I'm now gonna go on prime, and I'm gonna That's get not us. Allowed. I'm gonna get us a cup. Well, grapple fans. Thank you. There yes. you have it. Your new number one contenders for the UKPW Tag Team Championships are Jay Alexander and Delphine in arguably an upset victory. I would but say so. CPF. No, no tag name, no tag gear, and they have to kick someone in the nuts to win the match. Now that. That is not a Steezy tag team. No, no respect from us. Steezy though they may not be, I number one contenders they are. I think we need to teach them a lesson in respect in yeah. the face of... Maybe we need some steel toed well boots. Oh, perhaps. Pretty sure that would be illegal. I think he's right. Yeah, you're right, you're right. We're, he's, we're he's sinking too early. Give it up for the two-man nation! Yeah. 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 I just have a few things to say. I just have a few things to get off my chest. Thank you everyone, firstly, for coming up tonight. I've got it that we didn't get the loss. But, where's your, where's your name tag? The, sorry. It's okay, Cody. I've got plenty of name tags. Yeah. <laughs> Back to normal. I don't understand, Cody. Why do all these name tags have your name on? I said I had something to say. Well, almost two years now we've been in UKBW. Two years, and what is that amounting to? Huh? What is that amount to? They say, they say we're one of the most popular tag teams in this company. And we are? Yeah, we can't win together. We can't get a title match together. That was our chance! That was our chance. I just feel like for so long, we've just been just that close, just that close for greatness. We're just one step away. And now I'm starting to think, it's you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not the only one that thinks it. Partially, I love you, but I'm embarrassed. Mum's embarrassed. The family's embarrassed. The rest of gods are embarrassed. No, maybe you're embarrassed, okay? Of your old dad attacking with your own dad and everything that we've been through. It's not about championships. It's about all these people here that have supported us all the way through. All the way through. All right? If you remember us, when we first got here, I was over there. I was on commentary. I was stuck on commentary two years ago. Okay, and I scratched and clawed to do anything I could for any opportunity. Yes, to, sir! For any opportunity to make these people proud, okay? We love you, sir. Okay? Okay? And when I was on country, I wasn't ashamed. I was proud. Because I was watching you become one second away from beating the UKBW chat. I got to watch my son do what he loves and what I love doing. Okay? If, if, this, if this is it, I'm not an idiot. I've seen wrestling before. You're going to turn on me. <laughs> And it makes you one step closer to a championship. No, one. Then, it's all about then, the then do it. It's all about the do it.
Let's cut to Kimmy to see what Liam Judd had to say before this contest. Grapple fans, please join me in welcoming my guest at this time, Liam Judd. Liam, today is your singles debut match in UKPW. You're up against Alf Edwards. Do you have any strategies going into this match today? Um, no strategies today, no. But obviously I'm getting my opportunity here against the prolific in UKPW, if I do say so, Alf Edwards. Um, and he doesn't have anything on me. I've watched a lot of his matches. I know what he does. I'm prepared for today. And Alf Edwards is soon going to realise that diamonds are made under pressure. And there is no better diamond than the stud the uh, chart. Best of luck today with your match. Back to you at ringside. Strong words from Liam Judd. It's a, a challenge. He has a, some work cut out ahead of him to pick up the victory on this one. I mean, his opponent has been prolific in UKPW. Yes, indeed. Although he does have banging music. And gear. Let's not forget the gear. Well, Dow, we heard from Alf Edwards earlier in the show. He is still unhappy about the missing out on a one-on-one -on -one match with Sapphire Reed back when the Inter-Regional Championship was in her possession. And he blames David Francisco for the result of the last time he was here for Showcase when he came up short in the Inter-Regional title match, which saw Harry Sefton leave with the championship. I mean, if I was Alf, I would definitely have a chip on my shoulder. Alf has been a standout in 2023. But it's 2024. Can he continue that momentum? Here we go. Now this is going to be interesting. Both these wrestlers were here in Canterbury last time. Ah, yes, of course, Liam Judd in the tag team with double action, Sean Axon Jackson. Absolutely. Well done. Say Something that like three that. times fast. No, I, think, I feel like I've missed an action. You might have missed double action. Action, board. action, double action, Sean Axon Jackson. That's, that's, that's the, the one. one. Yep. Oh, that's some early shoving. No other word for it. Going on in the ring. Both, wow. Both these men. Now, Fedward's normally able to rely on power to get through, but Liam Judd's equal to the challenge. I mean, he is built. Both wrestlers here are gym fiends. Oh, Alf Edwards telegraphing that one just yeah. the knee to the midsection. I was and wondering where that was going to end. Always some early, early advantage, although Judd ducks two clotheslines and whips him through. Oh, wow. Incredible. Huge clothesline. Left his feet. Oh. Slam to Alf Edwards and a jumping sent on. So much meat on that bike. First cover at two. Bravo, Liam Judd. Really impressive right at the beginning of this match. Alf Edwards almost caught off guard. Oh. Uh, you know how light normally travels faster than sound? I heard that one first. Oh. Just one of the most painful things. Oh. Just hurts. No other way to say it. Whips Alf Edwards to the corner, ducks away from. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Oh no, he Liam Judd just hit it so hard the buckle came off. Oh wow! And that just dislodged. Oh dear! Cannonball! Oh, Alf Edwards unfazed, just cannonballs Liam Judd. Wow! That just yanks him away and goes for the cover. A one kick. That was a painful cannonball, and again Good that turnbuckle. Rather ball. unfortunate. Yeah, that, that turnbuckle pad coming off has made that corner quite a dangerous corner for this match. I wonder if any of the ring crews are going to be able to put that back on. Tristan's busy enough trying to be a referee. I don't know where that pad went. And a suplex. His stock in trade. That was the first suplex of the match. You're going to keep the score this time? I think so. Two. That was one. Well, I could do that. One suplex. I am out of just how to make this work. Dreadless characters. 
Oof. Yeah. Just trading blows. Liam Fogwood's forearms to the back and Liam Judd forearms to the midsection. Just, just casually tosses Liam Judd to the outside. And now Fogwood's just able to just rest, just take a breather. Just have a little wander, no big deal. Interesting. He is going to make his way to the outside. Perhaps not wanting to win by count out. Mm, interesting. Oh, okay, maybe not then. Maybe it's about the long post and proximity to it. Well, talk about using the ring to your advantage. Yes, indeed. Free Tristan Stone, meanwhile, reassembling it. And uh, Alf Edwards runs into Liam Judd's backup. Ooh. That won't do it. Tristan Stone making sure that the backup doesn't get involved. Liam Judd means business. You can see the determination on his face. Whips him across. What are we going to see? Went for a spine buster, I think. But Alf Edwards just manoeuvring around it. Reapplying that pressure to the back of four arms. Oh. Looks like another one. A nice T-bone suplex. How'd you like him done? Well done. Suplex plus plus. Kick out at two. I'll make that two suplexes. Two I'm suplexes. Two. I'm going to get If you're out of Edwards, when you're, are you conscious that we're counting, do you think? Or do you think he worries about it? Uh, not at all. No. Right, uh, okay. Yeah, not at all. That's probably good. I don't want to I don't want to be accused of distracting. Uh, I think being known for being a suplex merchant, being a master of suplexes. Comes turf, doesn't it? Yeah. You have to expect a certain amount of counting. He knows we have nonsense. Oh, oh there's a chop. Revenge from earlier. I suppose if he's selling, maybe it's accounting. Mm. Oh, that's a very good point, Rob. Could be the chop merchant with trade like with craft like that. Oh, oh spits in his face. That's a that's a surefire way to get someone quite angry. Absolutely. <laughs> that's being polite. In the post-pandemic world, is it is it cricket? And the cover too. across the ring. Oh! That was Those a nasty hit. They're not going to endure this contest. No. The top one looks a little bit on the loose side after that one. I feel like we're going to have to get new turnbuckle pads because people keep really throwing people into these corners. Absolutely. Alf Edwards gave back everything he had. You can see it as he left his feet. If you whip with someone and you leave your feet, you're probably giving it a feral whack. Absolutely. Oh! Then Judd telegraphed that one. Looks to whip Alf Edwards with a whip of his own. Oh! Big Insiguri into the corner. Just trying to trade off. There's that spine buster. Goes for the cover. Unbelievable. Two. That was an outrageous spine buster. Those turnbuckle pads are dropping off out of fear now, I think. That's a very good observation. Goes for it. Looked like a spear, but... Hey, canvas instead. Pop up. Looks for the pop up. He pops over. Waste luck of his own. Dark side clothesline. Oh, wow. What a spear. Unbelievable. And a two. I really thought that was going to be over there. Well, with a spear of that venom, I'm not surprised. What? I am surprised. All credit to our for kicking out of that. The thing with the spear is it's a double hit. You get hit in the ribs, and then you land on the ground. And Judd Signal is going to try and hit this one. Oh! Oh, exploder wow. suplex. There's the Just third sent one. him all the way over. Some people call that an X-plex. Pop, Pop up. up. Oh, not a power bomb, but looking to, looking to apply that clover leaf. He's tapping. He's tapping. He's tapping. Okay. And that I came out of nowhere. I think he taps. Here is your winner, the Super Smashers, Al Well, Grapple fans, there you have it with a submission that came so out of nowhere that it actually caught the entire live crowd by surprise. The suplex merchant, Alf Edwards, shows there's more than one string to his bow and picks up the submission victory. Dow Jones, your thoughts? I mean, 
some of these moves were so explosive. Some of these moves were incredible. I actually think that Liam Judd landed awkwardly in one of those previous moves. I don't know when we're going to have to look at the replay. But then when Alf was able to get that cloverleaf on, I think Liam just had to give up. He's got an injured shoulder, it looks like. We've got a serious issue here. But congratulations to the, su to the suplex merchant for yet another victory. Liam Judd is being examined by medical professionals at ringside. Not that one. And uh, is being helped to the back. This crowd shows their appreciation for his efforts. Greetings, Grapple fans. This is your main event. The UKPW Downward Spiral, Rob Ringside, joined by Dow Jones on commentary. Dow, this is the main event that actually started before the show started. Absolutely, Rob. For the record, let's do a quick speed recap. What happened, Roth had no challenger. He had no opponent set for today, but Roth being the champion that it is, he turned up here at the Westgate Hall. He started the show. I say started the show before the show. He was in the ring chatting away to our audience. And essentially, he wanted to thank the cast and crew. He specifically wanted to thank the individuals from a training school just down the road. Thanks for helping out. He shook hands with those trainees. But two of them, or should I say three of them, took exception. They were insulted. And after a scurry, after a bit of to and fro in, there was agreed that an opportunity of a lifetime to these rookies today in Canterbury, in the main event, they turned up to help the ring. And now one of them could become the UKPW champion. Yes, indeed, Dow Jones. I've been informed that Tyler Walker hailing as the Prince of Peckham, the priceless one, caught up with Kimia Kiss earlier, made his intentions known. <laughs> Grapple fans, please welcome my guest at this time, the UKPW ring crew. Now, earlier today, at the start of the show, Alexander Roth, our UKPW champion, called you into the ring, wanted to shake hands with you, thank you for your work, but you didn't like that. Can you explain to us why? I should have shake hands with him. Yeah, I worked damn too hard. I'm here early in the morning, putting up the ring with these two fellas here. And what, a little handshake is going to do something for me. What is a handshake going to do for me? It's not going to do nothing. So I think, you know what, I decided, I'm going to get my big man here to take him out and get the opportunity. Because if I lay him out, you'll think about it and say, you know what, I might give these little, little rookies a chance. So, hey, Roth. The towering's coming to end. It's a new era. It's the priceless era. So Alexander Roth has obviously given you the opportunity today in the main event here in Canterbury. He oh. only gave her opportunity because we took destiny into our own hands. See, Roth, I know it, Tyler knows it, JP knows it. You would have never have given an opportunity to people like us. People who make the show what it is. So we take destiny into our own hands. We write the future, and you're looking at the new UKPW champion. Does that answer your question? That does answer my question, boys. Thank you very much. Oh. The towel's coming back to Peckham. Ruffy, we're going to go home towelless. Bye-bye. Back to you at ringside. Well, Grapple fans, Tyler Walker has stated his intentions very clearly, but... Not to belabor the point, but the scale of the challenge ahead of him. The opportunity is one thing, but in order to do this, he has to defeat the 848-day champion, this man, the Wolf from Brawl Street, Alexander Roth, who has agreed to what is essentially one-on-one -on -one with two people outside the ring who could be the difference makers. Tyler Walker, accompanied by Nathan Blade and the final boss, JP. But Alexander Roth, out here by himself. Dow Jones, is that going to come back to haunt him? That may come back to haunt him, but let's just remind everyone that Alexander Roth has been the UKBW champion for 848 days. He has defeated Bullet, Vaughn Vertigo, Connor Mills, RJ Singh, Cody Salihue, 
James Mason, Fabio Romano, Theodore Powers, Delphine, Alf Edwards, JJ Gale, and Scotty Rock. Alexander Roth is the most dominant champion in history and he is here today in Canterbury. Absolutely and Alexander Roth of course the only person to date that has retained their title in a tables ladder scares match. He is used to the numbers being against him but will it prove to be too much for him today? We're about to find out. The Wolf of Wall Street. The top of his game, the top of UKPW. He holds that belt with pride. We've been in a similar situation before. Roth has a tendency to give people a chance, to let them take on the best. And today, we are being treated to an unexpected, impromptu main event for the biggest prize in UKPW, that heavyweight championship. Yes, indeed, Dow Jones. Alexander Roth giving up a little bit of height to Tyler Walker, but clearly it doesn't phase him. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect, Rob. I've gone to the school, I've been to the training school, all of the students are incredible. Well, I'm going to hand it over to Clark Andrews for our main event announcement. for the people here in Canterbury. Especially given the upmarket nature of that local. Yeah. There we have it, Rob Ringside. Here we go, Dow Jones. I'm always excited for an Alexander Roth main event. You know he's going to pull out all the stops. And we have the wild card. <coughs> he's against three other people. I don't care what anyone says. There are three people opposite Alexander Roth. This is a three on one. Well, this crowd in Canterbury might be the difference maker. If he has those numbers behind him, can it be enough? Three, rings the bell, and away we go. Oh, Whoa. look at that. Alexander Roth, early mind games. Just unloading on Tyler Walker in the corner there. Maybe just some retribution for the attack earlier. I don't blame Roth at all, especially when someone challenges you and attacks you from behind. Oof. Oof. Champion's not going to take it. Just driving the wind out of Tyler Walker. An impressive physical specimen, Tyler Walker. Look oh. at, wow! This but the venom with which Alexander Roth threw him out of the ring cannot be understated. Wow, that was unbelievable. Roth is angry. Yeah, absolutely. He's fired up for this one. He wasn't meant to be even facing anyone. No. Oh! Impressive drop kick. Everyone here in Canterbury in awe of that drop kick. The good news is Roth managed to find some of his own gear. He must have had it after all. Must have had it there. He must have always had it packed. Oh, my goodness. What well, we're about Roth to see. Three men outside. Roth to the outside. Oh! Down goes two. Takes two out of three out with one, one. one jump. And Roth is now doing side steps, 
just Upper Jacks just, just crab walking around the ring the song, like you do. The song Smooth Operator just came into my head. Smooth Operator. Oh, oh my goodness. The Sade and that hit. Roll back into the ring. Roll follows. Still in control. Just teeing off on him. Chops and forearms and just venom. Credit to Walker for staying on his feet and some of those shots. Ooh, reversal. Oh, Ooh, he went up high and then low. That was a really good tactic. A smart move. And now Walker enjoys a bit of momentum. Oof. Again, another one that you could hear before you Roth saw just it. Roth putting the referee in between him and Harmway. Oh! Here we go. Whips Roth to the corner. Oh! Big Roth time in the not corner. Enjoy that. Walker in the driver's seat. Oh! Big DDT. Really on top of his head. in this one. What an interesting matchup this is. Absolutely. We've got someone who's got less than, say, probably even less than one match. Definitely a debut here in UKW. For sure. De I don't even think, I think this is his first professional wrestling match. Could be. And a strong showing so far. And you've got Alexander Roth, who's held the championship for over 850 days. What an interesting combo here. Sometimes inexperience can actually be an advantage because you don't know what's going to happen. Very true, and Alexander Roth could easily underestimate Tyler Walker in this occasion, but clearly Tyler Walker, an impressive specimen with some impressive high-impact maneuvers under his, his repertoire. Walker has been trained by one of the best in this country, and today in Canterbury there is a chance for a stupid... Whip of his own. Oh, big clothesline into that corner. Classic Roth. Oh. Dive through and nobody home but the ring post. Sent through. The ring post is an unfortunate neighbour to run into. The Walker scurries out. He can't win the title on the counter. It's in his best interest to get Alexander Roth back into the ring, but he seems to have done it the wrong way. Interesting. That post. Again, it can be an inexperienced thing. Roth's shoulder hit. I don't think that's what it was. Roth's in. Sorry, I was about to say Roth's inexperienced. Roth's experience here, knowing he might have hurt his shoulder here. We've just seen earlier today Liam Judd hurt his shoulder. The danger of the steel post. And one of the advantages Tyler Walker has right now is while he's enjoying some momentum in the ring, he has two people outside the ring trying to quell this crowd, but they will not be silenced. People of Canterbury are spirited behind the Walker Wall Street. They watched him in an incredible contest with JJ Gale before in the showcase last time we were at this venue. Absolutely. This is interesting. How how fully behind this crowd are behind Alexander Roth. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's that vicious Roth combination. Roth feeling the energy. Of this crowd getting a look back back into this contest a little bit. Hooks for a fisherman suplex. Oh, except drops him. Oh, went drop forward. That almost made that move even more vicious. I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, well, Alexander Roth may be feeling like he has to pull out some new stuff to counteract the unknown quantity that is Tyler Walker. That is very true, Rob. Very, very good. I mean, again, this is why Roth is so good. I don't know how I would approach this match. You have no tape to study. You weren't really even prepped for a match. Superman punch. Walker telegraphs it. See, he has... Oh! Big spine buster. He has the advantage. He knows the moveset. Oh Alexander goodness. Roth is an experienced in UKPW, a seasoned veteran around the country. His moveset will be well known. Tyler Walker has that advantage. He can scout. He's done a good job so far, it's fair to say. Wow! Unbelievable. Alexander Roth, I've never seen him do a German super. Wait, we've got some more of the trainees have come out. Now it looks like uh, a couple more numbers, numbers have shifted. Now these... It's fair to say these two trainees were not so... Oh! Oh, no. oh the referee's been levelled. Wait. Alexander Ruff with a Superman punch aimed at Tyler Walker. And now the referee's oh, down. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
And this is... Oh, come on, guys. Oh, now this on. is... This is not good. Nathan Blades made his way into the ring. Hits a pop-up, headbutt. Oh, a pop-up, headbutt. Never seen one of them. Before. No, that was... How's that? Right, wait, come on, hang on. Well, these two trainees were the ones who were less inclined to go along with this with this plan. Come on, guys, do the right thing. Come on. You were here to help out. You got your experience. Get these two morons out of the ring. Don't ruin a main event. Guys, come on. It's already three against one. I know you've trained together. I know you got. Don't listen to him. Again, just being leveled with forearm. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. It's and four now it's on five one. on one. Yeah, five on one, sorry Rob, yeah. Oh no, is anyone gonna Oh no. I don't know what we could I mean could we do something about I this? Mean, what I'd, do we I'd rather what not. What do we do? Oh big forearm. Wait, hang on, one of them's on the outside. What is he gonna do? It looks like he's No way! Buckshot oh. Lariat! The UKBW champion is down. The referee, the referee is down. Still down. It's a four on one in the ring, and the, with the option to make it five. Oh, this is outrageous. We could this have is, a new champion here. This yeah, is not. Yeah, this is this is this is not, this doesn't feel right. Sure. They not. measure up. This leveling Alexander Roth just measuring. Oh! Whoa. Oh my goodness. That spear was. Oh my unreal. goodness. Real. Wait, the referee's still down. The referee is still down. The referee is still down. Trainees are trying to rouse him. Oh, ref, no, Count no, no. One, two. And he kicks out at two. Alexander Roth is still in this. Oh Five goodness. on one was not enough to keep down the UKPW champion. Oh, my God. Crowds. Suggesting that that wasn't ideal and suboptimal as a strategy in super kick in a way that only wrestling crowds can. That's apologies, right. apologies if that sneaks through. Oh, Measuring up for that rough bottom. Oh! Wow. He got it. He got Planting it. Planting him. And Alexander Roth against all the odds. Oh no! Oh wait a minute. Oh no, he's won the match, but he might have lost the war. As the trainees, Alexander Roth Grapple fans has retained his UKPW championship. The bell was rung. Wait, the crowd, are, the crowd wants CPF. What the crowd wants CPF? What the crowd wants? Well, they are. The crowd gets CPF of Storm of the Ring. Danny Black and Joe Lando coming to the defense of their friend Alexander Roth. All the champions are in the ring. It's like a champion's honor. Oh wow. my goodness! Whoa. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen! Tyler Walker just went sailing over the top rope. Who knew Danny Black had it in him? Oh my goodness. CPF of even the odds in favor of the Wolf of Brawl Street. It's now five on three, but what a three. There you have it, Grapple fans. As we previously stated before the commotion, Alexander Roth has retained against all the odds, five on one. With the help of CPF after the bell, but during the match he was able to keep it together, kick out from uh, unprecedented assault, and he is still your reigning and defending UKPW champion. Dow Jones, what did you make of that end? I mean, let's just have a quick look at that Roth bottom. That has got to be one of the biggest Roth bottoms I have ever seen. It had extra sting, it had extra venom in it. Look at the height, look at the angle, and look at the three count, and still, UKBW champion, the Wolf of Wall Street, Alexander Roth. Grapple fans, that will about do it for us here at the Westgate Hall in Canterbury. My thanks to Dow Jones who has joined me on commentary. I always love it. I've been Rob Ringside. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now, Grapple fans.
Greetings Grapple fans, Rob Ringside here reminding you to check out more UKPW content on our YouTube channel. There's links everywhere around us, so just pick one and you're going to have some fantastic wrestling action.